Welcome to The Soul Work. The Soul Work is a weekly show where we explore powerful strategies so you can show up as the real and authentic you in all aspects of your life. In this week's episode, we're going to explore the hidden impact of social conditioning and how to break it. If you're ready, let's begin. Go to school. Get an education. Don't go near the fire. You can't have any ice cream until you've eaten everything that's on your plate. Money doesn't grow on trees. Go to the doctors, will you, and get some medicine. Respect your elders. Do you know what? You're rubbish at art, maths, spelling. Now that one stays with you for life. Success looks like a big house, a spouse, kids, dog, goldfish and a white picket fence. You have to save up for the latest iPhone, top of the range car and shiny new laptop. So tell me, did you hear any of those messages as a child? By the age of around six to seven years old, your belief system has already been formed based on what you've experienced around you. Now what you believe to be true today as an adult is a result of the social conditioning and the messages that you heard as a young child, just like those messages that I said to you a moment ago. I want you to think about how old you are now. How many years have you been living your life with the beliefs that were formed from when you were six years old? Your life right now, unless you've worked on your beliefs and you've done some inner work, is being lived based on your six year old beliefs. Your beliefs, which are simply thoughts that you keep thinking, create your experience. They affect how you feel, who you are, how you behave, and what your experience is like of the world. Unless you're aware of your beliefs and you've worked on them, chances are you're living your life through a six-year-old's eyes. Here are the most common beliefs formed as a result of social conditioning. I'm worthless. I'm going to be found out. I'm unlovable. I don't deserve or I'm not worthy of, insert the word here, success, love, happiness, etc. There's something wrong with me, I'm different, and that results in you comparing yourself to other people. I can't be my real self or I'll be judged. Everything's my fault. I've got a fear of abandonment or rejection. I'm a failure. Now when you dig deeper into all of those, they all point to the same thing. And that is that there's one belief that underlies all of these things. That belief is, I'm not good enough. Now, add in the confusion, the humiliation, the shame and the guilt that you feel as an LGBT plus individual. And combine it with the judgments from others and the homophobic and transphobic messages that are being broadcasted from the media and the government And what do you get? I'll tell you, you get issues of low self-esteem, sadness and extreme loneliness and that results in anxiety, depression and identity issues. Struggling to understand yourself, unable to be true to who you are and feeling isolated from a lack of deeper human connection leave you feeling vulnerable, helpless and powerless. Emotional abuse, fear of change, the need to control things, perfectionism, attachment issues, uh, a lack of personal boundaries, having trouble saying no, being passive aggressive and anger management issues. These are all commonplace within the LGBT plus community. What about relationships? Well, many LGBT plus people report a fear of intimacy. They experience codependent relationships and they struggle to have an authentic relationship. It's not uncommon for LGBT plus relationships to be abusive and manipulative from both parties. Many seek reassurance, approval from others and are people pleasers. For these reasons and many, many more, a large number of people withdraw from relationships, choosing to maintain superficial companionships instead, or they avoid relationships altogether. Issues with safety, feeling a sense of belonging, connection, self-care and self-worth, justice and fairness, loyalty, overcompensating and putting others' needs ahead of your own, valuing yourself and others and a lack of self-awareness. These are all issues that my LGBT plus friends have experienced. 
all of this, this conditioning and your wonky beliefs about yourself, it instills in you ineffective behaviours, toxic desires and unhealthy emotional reactions that dominate your entire adult life. All right, all right, I hear you. So what do I do about it? How do I change those patterns of behavior and emotional responses? It all begins with awareness. Raise your awareness of the conditioning that you've experienced and are being influenced by every day of your life. I want you to ask yourself, what do I believe to be true about my health, fitness, relationships, my career, money, love, education, justice, success, failure, how I show up in the world, and the influence of media on my life. And once you've answered those questions, reflect on what this has highlighted to you. What do you learn about yourself? If you're wanting to work on that wonky belief of I'm not good enough, I'm going to put a link to a free ebook in the description below. Click on that link and it'll take you to the free book. And in that book, it'll talk you through how to break down that belief of I'm not good enough. Second thing I want to mention is if you're looking for an LGBT support group, then search for Come On In Campaign on Facebook. It's a group and in the group, we talk about the things that really matter to us, such as relationships, health, self-help, sexuality, culture, gender, your goals and dreams. It's a safe and nurturing group where we're supporting each other to be real and authentic in all aspects of, the, of our lives. If you want to join the group, I'll put the link in the description below, so make sure you click on that and ask to join the group. And listen, do me a favour, if you've watched this video and you like it, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time on The Soul Work.